Hi, welcome to Triathlon Minds. I'm here with professional triathlete, Luke Whitmore, and today we're on the Oval, gonna talk about interval running. Luke, welcome back to Triathlon Minds. Thanks for having me again, Brad. No worries, interval running, uh, it's all part of our plans no matter what distance we do. Uh, can you give us an explanation on, on what is interval running and, uh, and how we should use it in triathlon? Pretty much integrate intervals into most of our sessions. So basically it's referring to um, a session where you're integrating a work-rest ratio whether that be one to one, one to two, one to three. Um, and also, obviously, um, depending on that work rest ratio, um, integrating different intensity levels and, and how we go about managing that and where we put it in the, in the week and in the year. So more into our uh, build and strength phase of, uh, of our training block, what's an example of, a, of an interval session you can give us? Let's say you're working towards an Olympic distance race. Um, a really great set to do is um, starting with probably about eight repetitions and maybe working over a month period um, doing the session once a week to 12 um, times 400 metres with a minute rest. Um, that's, a, that's a pretty staple session that a lot of people use. Um, and if you're on a track um, such as this one, you could use that as um, a 90 second interval, or if you've got a Garmin watch, which is probably the best thing, just measure out your 400 metres, mark it, run one way, have your rest, and run back. So the goal is for that session is that you're holding the same pace for each of the intervals. We, you don't really, we don't want to see any variation. For example, going out five seconds harder for the first interval, then you'll be able to hold at the end. And those intervals, they don't need to be all out 400s but they should be um, a little bit harder than that um, your threshold pace so um, if you're hoping to let's say um, if your threshold is 112 for example for 400 meters um, you probably want to be doing them in about 108. Uh, you gave an example of an Olympic distance interval training. What about an Ironman and for these longer distance guys? Can you give us an idea of, uh, of what they might do for an interval based session? Yeah, um, getting towards the, um, the pointy end of a build, you might be doing um, something like um, 10 or 12 by one kilometre or two kilometre um, repeats. And these are done not much faster than your Ironman pace. So if you're aiming to run your Ironman in 3.30, which is five minute Ks, you're really only looking to go through the kilometre in sort of a 4.40, 4.45. You take your 30 seconds rest, so probably a shorter rest um, with a longer interval um, than the 10 kilometre repeats. Um, and repeat that for, for 12 times. Again, making sure you don't go out faster than what you want to hold for each of the reps. And so how often, Luke, should we be putting interval training into our programs and plans? That really depends on the time of the year and also um, your experience in the sport. If you're very new to the sport, you really don't want to be doing that um, more than once a week, that type of session. And probably only, let's say, for a, a one month to two month block within um, eight weeks of your goal race. So there you have it. That's a quick little rundown on an interval session. We're going to hit the track again and uh, good luck with your training.